The show goes on for the Montana Grizzlies. After UM lost its first game of the season over the weekend to Idaho, the Grizz now look toward their next opponent. That is Sacramento State, a team currently ranked number two in the FCS. And though UM fell to number seven in the latest polls, it'll still be a top 10 clash when the Hornets and Grizz meet on Saturday evening in Sacramento at Hornet Stadium with a national TV audience as well. They've just been outstanding so far, so be a real test for us. Uh, certainly we're uh, well aware that it's a big game in, in terms of the conference schedule. Has been the last couple of years, so we're excited to go down there and play our best game of the year, hopefully. The Hornets are off to a 6-0 and start for the first time since 1991 and are 3-0 and in Big Sky Conference play. Sac State enters the game as the two-time defending regular season conference champs, and the program is 18-1 and in league games since Troy Taylor was hired as head coach. The Hornets have the top offense in the league in terms of yards and points per game, and they're led by standout running back Cameron Scadabo, as well as the dual QB system of Jake Dunaway and Asher O'Hara. You know, they're different from one another, but the offense isn't different. They've done a nice job with that probably as good as I've ever seen. The Hornets also haven't trailed in a game yet this season and are the only Division I football program in the country to do just that. But Montana's defense leads a number of conference categories, and at the end of the day, only one stat matters to Hauk. It's important we score more points than them. We can talk about crap like that, but none of it has any bearing on the game. we got to outplay them, outscore them. they got to do the same to us. Whoever does that is going to win. The Grizzlies have dropped two straight contests to Sac State, including a loss at home in 2021. But after that loss last season, Montana responded in a big way with six straight victories. And it's about seeing if this year's squad can respond again after Saturday's stumble against Idaho. Because after all, losing is part of the game. Everybody here's played long, coached a long time. We've all lost before. Well, we know we're going to lose games at some point in time. Everybody who plays a sport does that. So do you just quit or do you go play? We're, we're going to go play. Hell, you, you, you play sports, you lose. We can play a game of cards. One of us can lose. We're going to cribbage. We're going to play the next one and we're going to quit. Reporting in Missoula, Kyle Hansen, MTN Sports.